Welcome to this in-depth walkthrough of Firespacer by Firesonic, your gateway to intelligent side chaining, featuring an advanced real-time frequency analysis and precision filtering. Firespacer operates in real-time, analyzing the audio frequency content of one channel via a side chain and applying an intelligent filter to subtract those frequencies from another track. This ensures that each instrument or voice has its own space in the mix, preventing clutter and enhancing clarity. Firespacer relies solely on the sidechain source, automatically detecting the incoming signal without an external sidechain button. The setup varies across different doors. In Reaper, after inserting Firespacer on the receiving track, simply drag the route button from the sending track to Firespacer's interface. In Pro Tools, add Firespacer to the receiving track, create a bus on the sending track as the sidechain source, and then select it as the key input in Firespacer's plug-in wrapper settings. Cubase, Studio One, and Logic Pro share a similar, more intuitive method. Once Firespacer is added to the receiving track, use the sidechain option in the plug-in wrapper to select the sending track directly. Bitwig Studio and Ableton Live follow a similar approach, where after inserting Firespacer on the receiving track, you use the plug-in settings under Device View to select the sending track as the sidechain source. Reason, being a modular type of DAW, requires an intricate procedure. Once Firespacer has been inserted into the receiving track, head to the rack and press tab to flip it. You will find two outs for parallel processing in the sending channel, which you will then route to Firespacer's sidechain input. FL Studio, known for its flexibility and customizability, has a more intuitive approach. Once Firespacer has been inserted into the receiving track's mixer channel, sidechain the sending track's mixer channel to it. The last step is to go to Firespace's plug-in wrapper settings, head to processing, and set the sidechain input. Firespacer has three audio meters. In indicates audio input directly to the plug-in. Side indicates external audio input coming from the sidechain source. You can check and verify correct routing with the sidechain listen switch, which allows independent monitoring of the external input. Out indicates the output signal coming out from the plug-in. Each of the three has its respective knob controlling how much is being fed to and coming off of the plug-in. These attributes are visualized in the analyzer with distinct curves. The gray curve shows direct input, the red curve represents the external sidechain input, and the rainbow-filled curve displays the reduced output signal. Firespacer offers four processing algorithms, each imparting unique characteristics to the final output. Spectral algorithms provide high accuracy but introduce latency and demand more processing power. Conversely, no latency algorithms are less CPU intensive using minimal phase filters which may yield less ideal results compared to spectral algorithms. The minimum and maximum frequency knobs act as high pass and low pass filters respectively. Frequencies below the minimum or above the maximum are disregarded by the effect. These controls are particularly useful in scenarios where you want to refine the effect to a specific frequency range. The release knob adjusts how quickly reduced frequencies return to their original level after the collision ends. Higher values make the effect more effective at removing collisions but less transparent. The precision knob, applicable only in spectral modes, dictates how accurately the plug-in targets colliding frequencies. Maximum precision selectively removes only closely identical frequencies, offering high transparency but lower efficiency. Conversely, minimum precision removes even frequencies further apart, prioritizing efficiency over transparency. The mid-side switch toggles between mid-side and default left and right or mono modes. And lastly, we have the amount knob, Amount controls how much the plug-in removes colliding frequencies from the main input. It functions similarly to a dry-wet knob, adjusting the intensity of the plug-in's effect. And of course, right up top, we have the toolbar which offers utility for user convenience. The A, B and copy buttons are used for storing different plug-in states or settings to compare and find the optimal one for the track later on. The undo and redo buttons, pretty self-explanatory. On the far right, we have the bypass switch. It's always a good idea to check if the plugin actually improves your sound. In many doors, it will synchronize with the door's own bypass button if available. Like all our plugins, Firespacer includes several presets to use or as a starting point for your settings. Now, 
watch and listen to Firespacer in action. I am now narrating with background music and without the Firespacer enabled, you can hear several clashing frequencies in the mid to high spectrum. This interference makes it challenging to focus on the narration as the competing sounds mask the clarity of my voice. With Firespacer activated, pay attention to how much those conflicting frequencies are now tamed. My voice stands out more clearly, making the narration easier to understand and less overpowered by the background music. Let's experiment further by increasing the amount. As I do this, you'll notice an even greater reduction in those distracting frequencies. The effect becomes more pronounced, especially when I fine-tune the release and precision knobs. I'll keep talking continuously to demonstrate the impact of these adjustments. Listen to how the clashing frequencies diminishes, allowing my voice to become the primary focus. Now, let's explore the frequency settings in more detail. Notice that if I adjust the minimum frequency, there isn't much change because my narration's frequency range doesn't sit in that lower area. This range typically affects bass and lower mid frequencies, which are less prominent in my voice. Conversely, when I start to dial down the maximum frequency knob, you'll hear a noticeable difference since that's where my narration resonates most. By understanding and manipulating these settings, you can achieve a high level of control over your tracks, ensuring optimal space for each track in your session. And that's all there is to it. For more details, I'll leave the rest in your capable hands. Grab your 15-day fully functional trial version at unitedplugins.com.